G'day mate, how's life? So, you wanna know the easiest way to make money on the side? Well, what I'm gonna tell you in this video is how I made enough money on the side to buy all of my recording equipment that I use for my YouTube and Twitch videos. This method does work, but you need to put in some effort and it won't make you a millionaire. So, if what you're looking for is no work and overnight riches, you may as well just go to bed because the only place that happens is in your dreams. But, if you do what I say here and put a little effort in, you'll make decent money on the side. Okay, you're still here? Great, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Sean, or Zier's 24 on Twitch, where I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights, Australian Eastern Time from 6.30 p.m. Drop in and say hi sometime. Okay, so, I'm gonna be honest. I don't normally make videos about how to make money. And I know there are 40, 100 trillion, gazillion other content creators out there that are making these sort of videos. In actual fact, what I generally make is videos about how to get started creating content for beginners, either on YouTube or Twitch or any other platform like TikTok or Mixer. We don't talk about Mixer anymore. Included in this is the gear that you, as a beginner creator, need to improve the quality of your video and where you can get said gear more cheaply. So, with that in mind, I was thinking that when I first started on Twitch, I was trying to do so on a pretty tight budget but I still needed things like a microphone, a camera, lighting, and a better PC. I didn't have heaps of spare cash to blow on these things, but I really wanted the better quality that I'd bring to my stream. So I was looking for a way to make extra cash on the side that would give me money that I needed while still not taking all of my time. This is a quick story of what I came up with. So at this time, I was updating to a new phone and the salesperson in the shop asked if I wanted to trade in my old phone. I thought, well, I'm never using it again, so why not? And I asked how much they'd give me for it. To be honest, her reply shocked me, and she said that they would only give me around $100 for the phone. Now, my phone was in perfect condition, not a scratch on it, and I guess considering the price they sell for new, I was expecting her to say something like three or $400. She must have noticed how shocked I was because she quietly said to me that I can easily sell it on Facebook Marketplace for around 500 or more, so that's what I did. I went home, took a few photos of the phone with my new phone, and looked at the exact same models in similar condition to mine, uh, for sale in my area. They were all listed for around $650, so I figured I'd list mine for a bit less than that, and I sold it within a few hours for $550. Now, I also wrote a little bit more and better info about the phone than what everybody else had on their sales page, um, which made it easier to sell quickly. Things like that it was in perfect condition, that it was unlocked to all providers, and it was the best one on the marketplace currently, things like that. Now, doing this got me thinking. If I can sell one phone that quickly, I could easily sell more just as quickly if I could find a good place to buy them. And this is where the story becomes the way that you can make money on the side too. I went on to buy and sell phones and cameras and PC graphics cards and other PC equipment on Facebook Marketplace. Now you can do this with any item that you know the value of. It's best if it's something that you're interested in so you know a bit about it so you don't go buying anything that isn't going to sell. So here's exactly what I used to do and you can do too. As I said, it will work with anything really, but to get started, look for items that a lot of people are selling and a lot of people want, basically. Um, this gives you the most amount of opportunity to buy and sell. Phones are good. So are computers or laptops or cameras, but you may have some other ideas for things you know a lot about that will work well for you. While you're thinking about what you can buy and sell, why don't you also tap the like, subscribe and bell buttons. It may not help you to buy and sell things, but it will really help me and the channel. Thanks. Okay, so you've decided on a product that you know a bit about. Now you should jump onto Facebook Marketplace and have a look at those items within a distance that you're happy to travel to to pick them up. Then go through each one, and if there's any damage on them that you don't know how to fix easily, just ignore those ones. Damaged items, are they're a pain to sell. Just don't even waste your time with them. Now you need to look at what's available and see what they'll sell for. An example of this is if there's, say, 50 of the item available and there's all around $600 asking price, with a few asking maybe 800 plus, and one or two asking for say 500-ish. Ignore the expensive ones. They'll never sell to you for any sort of price that you'll be able to resell and make a profit on. In fact, they'll probably get upset with you for even trying to negotiate, and they're not worth the headache either. For the ones that are now left, what you wanna do is make an offer on those. Now, the offer needs to be low, like very low, like 50% of what they have it advertised for type of low. Something to note here is that some people will get upset with you for offering such a low amount. For those ones, no matter what they say to you, the answer is the same. Thanks anyway, I hope you sell it for the price that you're looking for. If not, let me know. Have a great day. 
What you're aiming for here is to either not get into a debate or argument over pricing so that you can move on with your life and not waste your time, or in some cases in a week or two or a few days later, that person won't be able to sell and will come back to you and ask if you still want it. If that happens, you just go, yep, thanks, and you buy it for the price that you originally offered to them. I'll write in the notes below exactly what I send to people that I wanted to buy from so that you can simply copy and paste it to make your life easy as well. The second reason for offering such a low amount is this. People like to feel like they're not being totally ripped off. Remember, they're selling, so they can simply not sell to you if they're not really happy with the price. So to ensure they are not feeling ripped off, you offer them say $300 for the item that you know normally sells for $600, and then you negotiate up to say $350 or $400. Then when you sell it, you can list it for $550, which is still under the $600 that most people will be listing it for, so that it looks cheaper than all the others out there. Remember, if you want it to sell as soon as possible, you pretty much want to be below everybody else. So you need to be able to have that room to move a bit lower than where everyone else is starting. And then at say 550, people will still want to bargain. So they'll want to negotiate with you a bit. So you can negotiate down by say 25 or $50 and sell it for say $525 and make a profit of around $150 per phone. When people try to negotiate you down, just point out that yours is as good or better than all the other ones that are selling for $600 and that you've already given them a discount by starting it at $550, so you really don't have much room to move. Then if they really push, you can give them maybe $10, $25 off, and then if they really, really push and you think that's gonna get you the sale, you can drop it by another 10 to $25. Remember, you're selling a good item, and you're already the cheapest, and they've come to you, so they want the phone. Chances are they won't get it cheaper anywhere else anyway, so you can tell them that and hold your ground a little bit on price as well. If you are selling phones and live in a big city, you should easily be able to do three to seven phones a week. Everyone needs one and many people break theirs and want a second hand one to replace it with. And many people are upgrading so they want to sell theirs. Even in a smaller city like where I live, I could do one to three per week pretty easily and I was making 100 to 500 a week in profit. So a quick rundown of the steps again. One, decide on what product. Phones are good. Two, search Facebook Marketplace for good ones. I could usually find 100 to 200 of them per week in roughly 30 minutes of searching. Three, make offers to all of them. Just copy and paste the same offer to each one. Four, go get the ones that say yes. Five, give them a quick wipe down or a clean. Six, take four to 10 good photos of the item. Show any marks or issues, if there is any, to mention them uh, in your description and talk about how minor they are. Seven, relist the item. Make sure that you do a decent write-up saying it's in perfect condition, etc. Don't lie, if it's got a small mark, mention that. You can do a really good write-up once and then pretty much copy and paste that for all of your listings. So that'll save you time as well. Eight, sell the item. Nine, repeat as many times as you can, as quickly as you can. Remember, as with everything you do, the outcome's gonna be relevant to the effort you put in. That's basically it. If you can do this and make even one sale per week, you'll have enough money pretty quickly to start buying the gear that you want so you can improve your content creation. Or if you're not into content creation, you can use the money for whatever suits your needs. Perhaps you want to get a new PC or a phone so that you can watch me on Twitch, you know, where I stream every Sunday, Monday and Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Time. No, you didn't know? Well, now you do. This is the point in the video where you really should press that like, subscribe and bell notification buttons and a shout out thanks to Chris from Compounding Everything for all his support. Thanks Chris, you're an awesome guy. You can see the links to his channel in the comments below. You should go and have a look if you're anywhere at all interested in investing or how to look after your money. Okay, I hope this all helps. If you have any questions, comment below or jump into the stream or into the Discord for a chat. All the links are in the description below. Okay mate, thanks for watching. Have a great day and remember, you're awesome. Hey guys, just thought I'd chuck this in on the end. I had a couple of people ask me about the, what the relevance is of my backdrop. Um, it's basically just all the things that I've had hobbies with over the years. Uh, obviously, you can see the uh, remote control helicopters in there and all the computer stuff. I've also uh, used to race remote control cars, the nitro cars, quite a lot. And I played inline and ice hockey. Uh, so that's why you can see the, the inline skate there and the ice hockey helmet. And um, the football is an Australian rules football. If you're not from Australia, um, look up AFL on YouTube and you'll see some stuff about it. It's pretty rough, but it's good fun. Anyway, thanks again for watching. See ya.